I think that the the squatter villages are are bound to multiply as the the recession deepens. It, if it, if it continues, there will probably be a, a proliferation of these places. Taco Flat is a um, it's a very interesting, vibrant community. Um, it is. A good example of informal urbanism, which is a kind of development that is most often associated with the the so-called slums of the developing world. And informal urbanism is something that happens when governments and private markets fail to produce an adequate supply of affordable housing. A great majority of the people I've Net intensities are not victims of home foreclosures, but rather people who can't access the market for rental housing. In some cases, it's because they've lost their jobs due to the poor economy, but quite often it's just because they wouldn't be able to sign a lease in the first place. Uh, in many parts of the West, the rental market is, is so competitive now that landlords refuse to work with tenants who um, have poor credit ratings criminal convictions or receive public assistance and that's the case for many tent city residents. Well at this point at least most of the year-round tent cities are in the Pacific Coast states. In California, Oregon, and Washington I know of nine, nine cities that have major encampments that stay open all year long. Um, but uh, they're, they're constantly on the verge of demolition or relocation um, or uh, falling into, into neglect. The people in Taco Flat are, are extremely self-reliant and their homes reflect that. They're made from a very eclectic mixture of salvaged materials. I saw everything from shipping pallets to going out of business signs and Bollywood film posters. They have um, oftentimes separate rooms for sleeping, cooking, and relaxation, and fenced-in yards for their pets. You can see that people are really trying to reclaim a, a kind of personal space that has been denied to them in the, the mainstream housing market and in homeless shelters. <laughs>